Huh, Captain Buttfuck decided to show up. And what, without the rest of Team Shit Show? Hmm, good luck. Oh, don't be like that. Hey, 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 sweet cheeks. Will you get my friend here a drink? Just a water, man. Not beer? Two beers? Well, this is a prime player in my spank bag. who has got an ass like a woman. So fucking licious. I mean, look at that. Look at that. Pop, 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 pop. Pro tip, you intimidate them, you get faster service. <laughs> you know you could do the same thing with a smile and a compliment? Oh. Hey, man, that was really fast. I really appreciate it. Thank you. You fucking fake. At least I'm honest. You're a goddamn swindler. <laughs> You're a swindler, too. That's why you brought me here? Hmm? What if I told you there was a bunch of homeless people prowling the streets, their bodies infused with experimental nanotech? I mean, think about the kind of exposing and the uh, true thing you dead sec D-bags could do with that kind of information. I mean, an army of robo-hobos? That don't make you wet? For real, though? For real. It's called Project Rensense. How do you know about this? Because the first volunteers were from my crew. <laughs> Your crew? The first rule of Asshole Club is don't talk about Asshole Club. Ha, 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 ha. Here's the thing about biohackers, right? We want to be pioneers, so we take big risks. To rent sense, we had a lot of really sick grinders and nothing cool to show for it, so we stopped volunteering. And I'm supposed to believe that rent sense just turned and started kidnapping homeless people? Sort of. You'd be amazed what a bum will do for access to a mobile clinic. Fuck off, you're just trolling me. It's nanotech. Transmitting a tracking signal, 9, 10 megahertz. Go ahead, scan it with your UHF. I'll wait. Okay, so what? Your little vial is transmitting. It's been real fun, Lenny, but I'm not crawling in the mud with you. Oh, you totally are. Don't call me again. You're an ambulance chaser. You can't resist this. Hey, Marcus. Welcome to Asshole Club. I think I gotta check out Lenny's info on the homeless deaths. It doesn't hurt to check it out. There's a lot of interest in nanotech in the Bay Area. Many people believe it's the next major step in human evolution and body modification. Plenty of biotech companies are experimenting with it. Sounds like you know a bunch about this kind of thing. I want wings. Can I get wings? Can you imagine me with wings? That would be so awesome. That's theoretically possible, however, unlikely in the near term. All I'm hearing is a lot of blah, blah, blah. Yes, you can have wings, wrench. Stop pestering Josh. Come on, wouldn't you want wings? <laughs> wings! No, you know what kind of hell that would be managing clothing with wing holes in the back? No, what I'd want is nanotech tattoos. They can change their patterns. That would be cool. That would be pretty cool. That's much more likely to happen. We may even have the technology for it already. <laughs> Rock on. Matching dead sec nanotech tattoos. I'm at the homeless encampment now, guys. Time to start digging. Yeah, we did some digging of our own. Anything good? No, but a lot of bad. Higher than average deaths among the homeless population. A noticeable spike. Oh, that's definitely bad. heard about those mobile clinics down here? Just wanted to learn more about them. Why? Right. You're like I can afford a real doctor. Look, this is my hood, man. I just want to know. Fine. What can you tell me about them? 
showed up about a month ago offering checkups, shots and things totally free. You just gotta sign some waiver saying they can keep your info. <sighs> that seems kind of weird. Maybe. I don't know. Hey, those guys that died, did any of them go to this clinic? Yeah, I think so. Uh, you should find Marty. He went to the clinic, you know, oh, he's looking real sick. Where can I find him? He's around here somewhere. Lay down yesterday or the day before. Hasn't got up since. Thanks, man. Looks like I better go find Marty. Holy shit, man. Hey, hey, you want some help? Doc says I'm good. I'm doing fine. Just will see me again next week. <coughs> the doc at the mobile clinic? Yeah. You need something, kid? Look, I'm 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 actually just trying to find out more about the clinic. What they're injecting people with. I don't know. Just shots. But what I I saw one of the docs throw away the injector gun thingy. It's in a yellow can. Somewhere around here. Hey, that's useful information. Thanks, man. Sure. Sure. Injection gun. Looking for an injection gun in a yellow trash can. Interest kept going up and up. Eventually, all oh, stopped paying. Douche they affected me. I mean, if I was a citizen, I had them now, but she could have raised the price of $2,000. dollars It feels like I'm in a cyberpunk sci-fi movie. That's for sure. Hey, Josh, I found an injection gun. The guy I talked to said this is what they've been using at the clinic. Excellent. Sending you data now. I'm using it to update the scanning app Lenny showed you. You should be able to use it to scan for more nanotech. That would be useful. Yes. Mm. Looks like they do broadcast. You should be able to use your phone to track down where people with nanotech have been. As you get closer, the signal will get stronger. <laughs> Looks like one of the clinic doctors is gonna be missing their bag. Anything useful in it? Comb, gum, clipper card, and official staff ID. Complete with barcode. This is gonna be useful, I bet. Josh. Yes? Our friend Marty, aside from being completely passed out and scanning positive for nanotech, looks like there's an injection wound on his wrist. And what do you want to bet they injected nanotech right into his bloodstream? I wouldn't be surprised. <sighs> I guess I'm not surprised either. <sighs>
Hey, anybody in there? No. Kind of just gave yourself away, dude. I thought maybe saying no might give you the clue that I didn't want to talk. Fine, fine, look. I'm just trying to find the mobile clinic. Oh, no, don't do that! Shit, look, I, I, don't do that! <clears throat> Listen, you may be stupid, but no one deserves that. Don't go to the clinic. I just want to find out more about it. They trick people into free healthcare, inject us with tiny machines, and watch to see if we live or die. There? You know it all. That was, uh, a lot of information. I know it sounds crazy. The police didn't believe me either. But the clinic staff, they heard me. <laughs> and now they're trying to kill me. That, that's, that's why you hiding out in the back, cave. Oh! Oh! If anyone asks, you didn't see me. Right. Nanotech. Fuck. Lenny may be right. Nanotechnology could solve hundreds of medical problems. Diabetes, blindness, deafness, autism. Not to mention enhancements to our natural abilities. Yeah, all of that is pretty cool. But doing research on the homeless without observing humane testing conditions. Yeah, would you do it? You'd try nanotech for, you know. Being non-neurotypical? Maybe. The experiment would be worthwhile, but... Only if it were reversible. I like who I am. I might not like who I would be if I didn't have Asperger's. Yeah, that's a good point. How much of that shapes who you are? I think we're on the right track. Definitely nanotech research going on here and not the authorized kind. I would agree. We need to track down whoever's behind this and shut them down. Best bet for that is the mobile clinic. One of our scouts saw mobile clinics in the Prescott area. On it. Good to see you. Yeah, same. So, fill me in. What have you found? Honestly, looks like your standard run-of-the-mill medical clinic. They do have some computers set up, of course. Expect you'll find more info once you hack into their system. And the doctors carry around these data pads. Those probably have info, too. Seems likely. I'm gonna see what I can get off the doctor's data pad. Good call.
Ooh, too bad. Ha! Woo! Whoa! Ouch. Oh, yeah! and it's winging its way to you. We'll get right on this. I have it. Decoding the encryption shouldn't take long. Got it. Ren sense is keeping people prisoner. They have several of the missing homeless under observation in their facility. I guess that explains the disappearances. <clears throat> Found it. Time to put these guys out of business. And leave a little virus to remember us by. So long as they don't actually remember us, or identify us at all. Yeah, figure of speech, Josh. Right. One down. Looks like the police are trying to keep this whole thing pretty quiet. Yeah? News stations are being told it's some sort of minor illness among the homeless population. Regular citizens shouldn't be worried. Right. Who cares about the homeless? All the deaths do seem to occur within a three-mile radius of known mobile clinic locations. That's two. Three down. I'll meet you at the Rensense building. Sounds good. Anyone else want in on this? Mm, Wrench and Satara are working on their own projects. <laughs> cool. So I'll meet you there and we'll see what we can do about freeing some people and destroying some nanobots. It's a plan. Hey, thanks for letting me come along, Marcus. <laughs> yeah, sure thing, man. Nanotech is pretty cool. It'd be fascinating to see what they're doing. Except, of course, they should be doing it ethically. Well, aren't and... you the cutest thing? Uh... Gee, thanks, Lenny. I didn't know you felt that way, except I really don't want to go into your spank bank. Not you, shitcake. Little Mr. Spectrum here. Me? Oh. You don't mean me. Yeah, uh, he can't go into your spank bank either. Oh, I just want to pinch your little cheek. No, please don't. Oh, you're like a little puppy. I always wanted a puppy. Do you want to come work for me? No. What do you want, Lenny, uh, besides harassing Josh? Oh, you are no fun at all. I want what I've always wanted, whatever Ren sense is hiding in there. They are beyond the cutting edge of transhumanism. They are the bleeding edge. Oh, fuck your pansy-ass sensibilities. I was right about the homeless people, wasn't I? You need me. I know access codes. I know how their systems work. Yeah? Why'd you call DedSec, then? Because I need human shields? That's not very nice. Well, I'm not very nice. 
except to you, sugar. Oh, you are wasting your time with those D bags. See, the thing is, I have the brain. Super creepy. I just need the brawn and someone to back me up in the hacking. And even though Captain Butt fucking annoys the piss out of me, he can hack his way out of a paper bag. I'm flattered. Well, whatever. We gonna do this or what? Okay, so, uh, <laughs> I was thinking, Josh and I. No, 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 no. We're not risking him. Sugar Plum stays put. But. Nope, it is just the two of us. Unless you're not up to the challenge. You're totally gonna turn on me after this, aren't you? <gasps> of course I am. And what is up with you and Josh? He reminds me of someone. I just really wanted to see the nanotech. Oh, sweetie. I will let you look at any nanotech I liberate, okay? I promise. So creepy. Move it, shit widget. Shit widget? Move! All right, man. Bye. Looks like this is the research lab. Finally. Oh, I'm hurt, Lenny. I thought we were having a moment. Ah, oh, don't flatter yourself. You're breaking my heart. <laughs> Whatever. Oh, can you imagine the sheer quantity of tech they have hidden away here? It's like being a kid in a candy shop. Hey, we're here to help people. Oh, of course. I'm all about helping people. And guess what? I'm a people. You wanna know why I'm here? Why I care about this shit? Because it can make us better, smarter, faster, more aware of the world around us. Don't you want that? It can make our lives longer, prevent us from getting hurt or sick. Hey, those are all nice ideas, but I'm not buying it. You think the world can continue like it is forever? You think we aren't about to burn out the planet with wars and waste? Nanotech can clean up the environment, repurpose the toxic shit we're putting into the air all the fucking time and make it useful. That may be, but that's not what Rincense was doing and you know it. They were trying to come up with cool toys for rich people to buy and they were using poor people's lives to do it. All right, you go hack the computer on the right side of the room and open the door. Sure, want me to order you a pizza while I'm at it? Ha, funny. Come on, come on, come on, fuck. No, oh, you stuck? Are you stuck? <laughs> Shit, fuck, fuck. You, come Marcus. on, come on, come on! Okay. Lenny got in first. Fine, we just need a plan that's better than hers. Didn't her plan seem to be, grab shit I want? Shouldn't be hard to have a better plan. I need to find the shutdown code for the nanobots. Our antidote, if you will. And free any people they may be using for experiments. Right. Plus destroy all the nanotech I can find here, or they'll just go out and do it all over again. Wipe their research data, and keep an eye on Lenny. Lenny wants their nanotech for her own uses. I don't trust Lenny any further than I can throw her. It's unlikely you could throw her far. She outweighs you. <laughs> that is entirely true. I wouldn't put it past her to have some of her little friends show up or use any nanotech she finds on other people just for shits and giggles. That does seem to be in keeping with her general personality profile. Yep, totally Lenny. Glad we agree. Got it. Looks like they really are keeping prisoners. Oh, excuse me. Experiment subjects trapped here. Jesus. We knew they were doing that. Yeah, it's just hard to believe. What else did you find? Approximate locations where they store their nanotech, where they keep the majority of their research, and where we can find the deactivation codes for the nanobots. Looks like I'm good to go. We having fun yet, dead sack? <sighs> Looks like I have our first container of nanotech. What now? Find the valves on the container. Got them. Then you hack them and increase the internal pressure. And then shit blows up. All right, little robots. Time to go boom. Hack the valves, blow up the nanotech. Research went into this? 
I realized they were experimenting on people illegally and killing them. Not all of them. And what are a few lives against thousands or millions against a cure for diabetes or epilepsy or cancer? Didn't think about that, did you, Boy Scout? For all you know, they're developing nanobots that can eat cancer cells and prevent it from spreading. Then they should go through medical trials, like all the chemo drugs and other experimental cancer treatments. And it's not like that's what you're here for. Oh yeah? How do you know? How can you know what matters to me? You mind reader all of a sudden? You want to tell me you know my body better than I do? Or better than my doctor does? What the shit? Hey, I didn't know. You have cancer? Nah, bitch. Just fucking with you. <laughs> I see the code now. We should go back to the homeless camp and use this to save them. We're here. What have you got for us? The cure for our friends back at the homeless encampment? It should deactivate the nanites. Once they're inert, they'll pass out of the body harmlessly. You mean these guys are gonna be pooping out robots? Always keeping it classy, Wrench. Follow the pipes to find the valves and raise the pressure. If you get through this before me, you're just gonna destroy all the research and tech, aren't you? Damn right I am. What they're doing is unethical, and it's not like the tech works. It's killing people. You destroy the research and all those deaths are in vain. You think on that. Our buddies. Some of them look really confused. Yeah, well, a little robot scrambling up your brains can do that. But we are going to fix that. We sure are. Can you find them a safe path out of here? Make sure doors are open? On it. Follow the pipes to find the valves and raise the pressure. <laughs> I'm not just gonna Fuck let you destroy you. all the nanotech. No way yeah. in hell. Why are you so into this stuff anyway? Why aren't you? Anyone with half a brain would be interested. I mean, of course, that rules out most of you dead sex schmucks. You've gotta be kidding me. Okay, I blew up their nanobots and freed their prisoners. I've tracked down their backup servers and can make sure their data files are corrupted. Hey, good work. Now to get out of here. I've tracked Lenny's path out. You need to retrace her steps and get out the back door. I can keep you from being detected that way. She's nearly out, Marcus. You need to hurry. Shit, she's gonna get away. I'll try to slow her down. <laughs> Good, man. I'll be there soon. We don't want Lenny running wild with shit tons of nanotech. She can't use it all on herself. She can use it on her followers. Or sell it. Yeah, yeah. without any warnings that it may not be fully tested. I'm on it, Marcus.
Is that the nanotech? Mm-hmm. Mama found her babies. Can I see it? Uh, no time. Oh. Okay. Are you gonna fucking puppy dog me now? Oh, Jesus. Fine. Here. Take a look. Wow. There must be thousands of dollars of nanotech in there. <laughs> you are so cute. Try hundreds of thousands. Okay, show and tell's over. Gotta go. Hey, what the, was that? Yes. You didn't stop her? <laughs> you straight played her! Don't fuck with the hot sauce. Yo, that's, that's like a line from a sister movie. Damn, that's my boy. It should pack a punch for the PR vid. Experimenting on the homeless, people dying, illegal nanotech? Yeah. <laughs> Crazy shit. Within the next 10 years, you will be bombarded with the promises of nanotechnology. Miracle health solutions, anti-aging treatments, psychological tuning. The dream? By 2040, humanity may be rendered immortal. The cost? Installing a vulnerable operating system in your own body and handing over the controls to a corporation interested only in selling and maintaining nanotech. Corporations like Rensense. Testing has only just begun in its current form, and testing requires guinea pigs. Rensense took your homeless, tempest-tossed your wretched refuse, and injected them with experimental nanotech. They ask them to sign away their legal protections in exchange for free medical care. DedSec has uploaded everything we know about this scam to your usual depots. We have given you the truth. Do what you will. I'm the best, baby!